I was curious to see if they'd bump up McGill and Schreiber, but they've elected to, to keep him down low on the attack. Ooh, Good so that they can beat these, my, 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 you know, the defenders on a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And Ryan, there's Tom Schreiber with the ball. We have not said that much here in this first quarter. Where's Tom Schreiber been? And look for him to be aggressive here to try to make something happen. He knows, he knows that. He can go either way with both hands and very effective with both. There's the double. Give it right back to him. There you go. Good idea. Schreiber finds Fricaro. This is the younger Fricaro, Jake. Two Strabos, two Fricaros for Princeton that you'll see. Good matchup here. Fricaro against Brian McGill. I don't think McGill saw that the ball came loose. Good opportunity here. There's Schreiber working on a short stick. Humility, I, th I think that's more of uh, my parents <laughs> than anything else. Position situation. Here's Tom Schreiber, quiet in that first quarter. Schreiber fires his first shot on goal off the stick of Lamalinara. Fifth shot of the game for Princeton. Tigers still controlling. Here's Schreiber, nice feed inside, and we're tied. Pushing it in from the box. He recognizes the slide. He dumps it to Schreiber, who instinctively has that pass ready to go before the, the next player even comes. Before McGill even gets there, he's... Matt Harris nearly went for that. Here's Tom Schreiber. Double, he got rid of it. Looks like Princeton may have had an opportunity. And that one right to Rice. O'Connor might have guessed there a little bit or kind of came off the pipe quicker. Quick shot that time by Schreiber. Prince experience, and he, he seems like he's settled in just as nicely. Yeah. Jeff Ricaro, three goals for Princeton in that first half. His brother Jake also had one. Four of the five Princeton goals, the other by Mike McDonald. Here's Schreiber. Schreiber gets around Peter McCartney, the long stick midi. New rule with the timer. When the stall warning goes in effect, you no longer have to just keep it in the attack box. More room to operate as Schreiber's shot goes. Hunter to Butts. Unsettled opportunity for Princeton. For Caro. He's got Schreiber up top. Schreiber working on Harris. Big save again by Dominic Lamel. Schreiber, you see, going down the alley, drops his hands, and, and big Dom as, as we're going. Go one goal advantage for the Orange, who are decked out in gray today. But they're trying to do that. McDonald being checked by Sean Young. Here's Schreiber now. Talk about a guy. Schreiber wants it on the wing. Schreiber on the run, and he scores. Tom Schreiber. In midfield. The key here is that pick. That pick enables him to, to have a step on the short stick midfielder here so he can turn the corner and let loose. And when you get Schreiber. Per season, per game, rather. Here's Jake for Caro. He gets clubbed from behind. There's a flag, delayed penalty coming. Ball on the ground. And finally, the official, that was the 12th turnover for Syracuse. There's Schreiber gets a step on Pratt. Schreiber, middle of the field. Good ball movement, but unable Great to. person as well. Bodies flying, no foul. Oh, loose There's ball the quick push restart. On, loose ball push on McGill there. I'm not, I'm not sure I agree with that call. Orbit lets it unload. He picks it up and starts pushing in transition. Orban on the backside gets lost. He was in that kind of scrum for that loose ball. And if you want to look at the, one of the most improved players in the country, Kipps, and as slick and as talented as everybody is, the ground balls, how you ride, how you clear, all those intangibles start adding up. It has been a game of vile or the importance or maybe lack thereof of faceoffs. But when you're down in a game and you're a team like Syracuse, which has struggled at the X, all of a sudden, it becomes important. When you're winning and you're losing face-offs, it's, it's a different story. But I think some of the new rules have neutralized the, the incredible impact it can make. Ambler, pass on the wing right there is McDonald. That's the stuff. You see Schreiber, the split down the side, the vision all the way across the field. How does he get that through? Ambler, the one more, 
and McDonald makes sure he steps upfield to create enough of a... Whether you create a turnover, come up with a save, get a stall warning, there's really, really no need to change what you've been doing. Princeton closed that third quarter with three goals in the last two minutes. The Tigers scored on four of their last five shots. There's Schreiber, he's got the short stick Jenkins on him. Schreiber gets around Jenkins. Hamlin looked like he was going to help. Schreiber on the run, shot too high and too wide. Talking to John Desco this week, he said that was one of the things he wanted to limit. Schreiber's ability to get to the middle. They wanted to take away the middle. Here's Schreiber. He, he looked like he had the middle there, but he fell down. A turnover. Got numbers here. You got numbers, you can get it to Ficaro. Here's Schreiber again. He has that knocked away. Schreiber. Great hustle by McGill. Ooh. There's a flag. He's with 16 goals. Face-off violation on the arm, so Princeton gets it. 10-10 game. Princeton had four unanswered goals to close the third quarter. Syracuse has scored three of the last four goals to get back to even. And two in 11 seconds. Yeah. Just lightning in a bottle. Schreiber.